That's all for this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's rewind. <laughs> Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Mr. 3D. I hope you're doing well. So in today's tutorial we are going to be creating brushed metal material in Blender. But first make sure to click the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads. Now let's get into this tutorial. First of all open a default scene in Blender and click anywhere to get rid of this slash screen and then select your cube, press X and send it to the cube world. Shift A, add a plane. And now, select your camera, go over to the object properties. Once you have your camera selected, just simply under transform location X, you're going to put 1.8 meters and under Y, you're going to put 1.8 as well. Under Z, you're going to put 0.82 and on the rotation, X we are going to put 68 and Z rotation to 135. It will perfectly align with our plane. Select your light, give it minus 4.6 on the X location, on the Y give it minus 2.4 and on the Z give it 7.1 which is what we want. Now we have our scene set it up correctly. So. Now head on over to the shading tab or you can split the window right here and go over to the shader editor. Press N on your keyboard to get rid of this side panel and then select your plane, give it a new material. Go over to the rendered mode and make sure you are in EV, 250 samples and turn on all these things. First of all we are going to go into the edit preferences, add on section, search on node and you will find a node wrangler add-on make sure it's enabled by this check mark right here if it's not just check this box and it will be enabled then close the preferences in a moment i will tell you why we have enabled this add-on so first of all we are going to change the color to somewhere around here perfect and we are going to change it to metallic now we are going to make some roughness so shift a add a color ramp Plug that right here, plug the color into the roughness of the principal BSDF and then shift A, add noise texture, plug the factor into the factor and you can see kind of beautiful things. So we don't want that, we just want a little bit less to somewhere around here. And we don't want totally black, so we are going to change it to 0.3. On the black value, on the color ramp, click here and change it to 0.3. On HSV, and then on the white, change it to 0.5. Just like this, and to make it a little bit in on here or you can let it stay right here perfect and then once you have your noise texture selected just press ctrl t is going to add mapping and texture coordinate because we have enabled the node wrangler add-on for this if you don't want to enable you can just simply search for them mapping and plug that right here if you want but it's the fastest way to add these two nodes now let's head on over to the most important part of this tutorial so shift a add bump plug the normal into the normal and we are going to add a noise texture shift a add noise plug the factor into the height and the strength is way too much so we are going to decrease it to 0.1 will be fine and then once you have your noise texture selected again press ctrl t is going to add mapping and texture coordinate and instead of generated one we are going to use object coordinates so that's what we want under the noise texture change the detail to all the way to 16 
and by the way if you don't know what these things are i have a video on these how to get them so i will leave that video link down in the description below and after this video you can go ahead and watch that one so now we're gonna increase the roughness to 0.7 and it looks fine just for now now this is where all the magic happens so under mapping on scale y change it to 0.4 and on the x change it to 300 so we will get wave like things right here so it feels like brushed paint now if you want some color changing you can do that as well if you want but for most of the cases you're gonna need to put it somewhere around here will be fine and yeah let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video bye